you gotta you gotta ditch the glass of venom and pick up a glass of water. Yeah. The clean and that, shit. Yeah, the clean shit. That's re- <laughs> that clean shit is reality. Yeah. Clean shit's legit. Clean shit <laughs> is legit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, like that's never thought I'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's um, that's that's what it, it is. What it is. Like that's what you gotta. That's how you have to perceive it. You have to, like, you can use this a phone to better yourself, to access more information, yeah. to learn more skills, learn how to learn more. Like mm. I, I started listening to this podcast because I heard him on Rogan. Uh, he's a neurobiologist named Andrew Huberman. His podcast, Tuberman Lab, go check it out. And I've like, I, it's, I've been listening to it and it's like t- teaching you how to, like, he talks about the science behind f- quicker learning, b- getting better at like training weights, physical activity, Fuck all the yeah, benefits, dude. sleep. And I'm, I'm using, like, that's an outlet via my phone and the internet. Mm-hmm. And it's feeding me useful information because I'm indulging in it. Yeah. But p- the information is useless unless you put it into practice. Yeah. So I'm, you know, I've been, I'm trying to learn more about skills. Right now, I don't have the time to do my job being yeah, yeah. full time and researching. Yeah. yeah. But come school, I'll have more. F- like when we start the semester, I'll have more time yeah. to explore, like just to relax, but also to explore interests in other skills. Yeah. Stuff that will like train in disciplines that will eventually help me become a better agent in the yeah. FBI. Yeah. When, if if and when I get there. But. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, like you gotta take in what is useful and discard what is not. And there's a lot of there's a lot of shit to discard on here. But there's a lot of shit to take in. That's yeah. a Bruce Lee quote. Yeah, but yeah. that's that's what you gotta do. You gotta ig- not ignore distraction. Resist it. And and pursue perf- not perfection. Progress in reality. Okay. Yeah, no, that's yeah. very good. Disregard what is not useful to you right because like you said no growth happens in your comfort zone right Mm -hmm. and then what do you know the algorithm you know will constantly keep feeding you shit to keep you there right because the algorithm you know it's legal right it's legal Mm -hmm. um and companies businesses platforms like youtube use it to keep you on their platform right because the more you're on their platform the more, the more you're watching money. advertisers right the more and the advertisers the more they make money right it's just a part of their business plan and unfortunately a lot of people aren't aware of that right mm-hmm. and they think that this is their reality right even i'm not saying in terms of like oh yo this is my reality no but like it is dictating the reality right and yeah. a lot of media I don't want to say, like, you know, Fox News, CNN, you know, but, like, really, any type of media that you... Agenda-based media. Agenda-based media, right, that you heavily focus on and you do not question, right? And they're constantly just... You're letting them think for you, right? And you when you don't question, you're not... You're not, like... You're just taking what they're saying as fact. You know, we talk yeah. about that a lot, right? And But when you question it and you're like, hey, maybe, maybe what they're saying is not right, right? Because, because you can think for yourself, right? You have the ability... So, like you said, disregard information that might not be useful, that yeah. is not helping you make progress, right? And then when, once you make that questioning, an awareness sparks up, right? Because And then you, you're kind of intrigued and curious to explore new information, right? And then you'll see how the media is not always portraying the full story, right? Like you said, agenda-based yeah. media, right? They have an agenda. They're, they're, they're going to show you... Listen, there is false information in the media, right? It has been proven, but most of the times, there is fake news. <laughs> most of the times, right? They do portray like true stuff, right? It's how they spin it. It's yeah. how they, you know, you know what I mean. It's it's the marketing, it's the persuasion, the rhetoric behind how they're doing it, right? The deceit. Yeah, the deceit, right? How they're deceiving you, and deceiving really just means a lack of information. What what sides of the story are they not showing, right? You could see this with COVID. You could see this with a race. You could really see this with any story, politics, right? A lot of sides to the story aren't shown. That's why, you know, you look back into the 70s, right? Over 90% of the media, even current today, is owned by six corporations, right? Six corporations own 90% of the media. That I think it's like Warner Bros., right? Other big media companies like that. But then once you see these decentralized... Disney. Yeah, yeah. Don't disrespect the mouse. <laughs> but yeah, continue. Yeah, yeah. Like once you see like these... As like, you know, like we said, the age of information, you know? different technologies come out 
where it's allowed for decentralization on platforms such as YouTube, even though there is a lot of censoring of very valid content. Even I, I do agree with censorship of misinformation, you know, like yeah. clearly misinformation. But with valid information, you get a wide variety of perspectives, right? And you can start to think for yourself. The media yeah. doesn't want you to think for yourself, right? Because their fear is that you don't agree with them, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't have the same frame of reference that they do because if you do, you're going to disagree. Mm -hmm. And if you disagree, you're not. You're probably not going to watch them as much and they're not making yeah. as much money, which is their number one priority. Mm -hmm. So with, like, with this age of information, you've got to be one, question everything, right? Whether that be us talking to you right now, right? Yep. Question us. Go see for yourself. Question the media. Question everything because you never know if it's truthful or not.